Hi Cancer, great to see you just in time for your Cancer February 2020 reading. Cancer, a couple of announcements just before we get underway. First of all, a number of people have asked me whether I can provide personal readings. Um, the short answer is that I, I have been doing for a long time, but now I've set some time aside from other activities in order to um, provide extra readings for people. So if you want to email me by having a look at the email address in the description box, just shoot me an email and we can um, go from there. The other thing is this, is that uh, because of the, um, the rescheduling of the work that I'm doing, I'm going to uh, uh, upload the videos in probably the first week of the month for the following month. So for example, in February, the first week of February, probably towards the end of it, there will be the video for the following month, March. And then in the first week of March, for example, there'll be the video for April. Um, that just enables me to get a few things underway. Now, uh, also, a lot of people have asked me, what is the artwork that is behind me in these introductions? Uh, have a look at it. And there it is, so that your curiosity satisfied. Now let's have a look, assuming you're curious, of course. Let's um, see what there is in store. I'm going to set the theme of this month for you using some indigenous art, which is particularly uh, insightful, and that is Return to Country. I'm also going to use some playing cards, um, which I'll give you the meaning of at the end of, well, that's flipped out, of the, the month. So that's the King of Diamonds, at uh, the end of the reading, rather. Um, <laughs> Ace of Hearts, and uh, it will um, probably give you some further insight into what is going on because the, the tarot reading itself might be quite mystical, I think, but we'll have to see how it goes. And it, well, what is this sticking down there? That is the Seven of Hearts. Okay, let us now see what the tarot cards are. I'm going to take five. And we'll get this done so that uh, we can get the reading done quickly for you because I know you're awfully busy. And we shall get things happening for you now, my beloved. Strength. Very pretty card, that. The Ace of Feathers. Beautiful, beautiful. The Mother of Feathers. Stunning, as they say in the classics. <laughs> stunning, that's what they say about cancer women as well, don't you? Just stunning cancer women, I think. I've always thought that. Something about the cancer woman. That's a mother of flames, by the way. And there is the fool. Good on you, fool. All right. Wow, we've got a heat to get through, so let's... Come and have a look at these together, and I'll tell you what they mean. All right, my beloved Cancer, here we go. Let's look at this first message that came through to you, which is return to country. Now, you might ask yourself, what does that mean, return to country? Well, if you were to meet me for the first time, and if I were to ask you who you are, and you were to say, well, my name is Jacinta Caruso, for example. I said, yes, so that's a name, but who are you? Well, I am a, um, I'm an administrator that works in this particular business. I go, well, I understand that, but who are you? Well, I am the, the person who at high school did this and did that. And I said, well, I understand that, but who are you? Who is the real you? And I think what this message is for you this month is to say, you must look into yourself and say, who is the person? Take away the body, take away the trappings, take away the clothes, take away the, the cooking utensils, take away the name, take away the history of my life. And what am I left with? That is who you are. And it is that that you are being asked to explore, I think, at this time. 
It may have another meaning for you, but it seems to me that that is a sensible approach to take. Let's have a look at some of these tarot cards now before I look at the playing cards at the bottom. Here we have for you the Ace of Feathers. Now the Ace of Feathers, who is likely to be important to you at this time? I think that the people who are going to be important to you are Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces. They're the people that I'm getting. This is signifying that you will, during this month, have a moment where you have intense clarity of mind, where you will have been able to, if you like, step back and see the big picture on something and know exactly what is to be done. It's also a time, I think, when you will be standing up for yourself and I think also standing up for other people as well. It's a time when you will have the mental, intellectual ability to be able to take charge of your own life and to become the captain of your own ship. Let's have a look here and see what else it might say. Well, I'm... No, I don't know if I will do that. Well, there's actually a couple of messages that are coming through, and so I will say them. And it is mental clarity and being one. Now, this peacock's feather, I think, represents the iridescent nature of your thoughts. It symbolizes immortality, almost like a royal dignity and vigilance. Uh, and imagined, if you like, but in reality non-existent, segment of a circle which was drawn with the sharp sword of your intellect. The mind, your mind, mirrors the manifold qualities of the world of thought. I think it's a particularly, particularly useful time for you and one which is going to be very, very beneficial according to that. Now, it's interesting that it should sit above this card here. This card is that of the Fool, and let's have a look at it quickly to see what it has to say for you, because it seems to be well combined with that Ace of Feathers that was sitting there. Now, the Fool is, um, is a card which for me is very much associated with the planet of Neptune. This is one who walks without fear. We can see him in that old Rider weight tradition, standing at the end of a cliff, Uranus. And is there any planetary association with it? Well, or astrological association with it? I don't think there is, other than the universe as a whole, the whole of the zodiac is the astrological, the constellation attribution to this card for me. I think it's one where you um, can be said that it is a time in your life where there is something new or spontaneous coming up, the beginning of a journey into the unknown, which is full of potential for you. Let me just drag it out now that we've had a look at it. So, where was I? Um, this is one of great potential for you. I think that there's also really uh, the need for you to take a leap, not, not, a, not a leap of faith, but a leap with the inner confidence that you will be okay. Open up your life and have the faith that you can create what you want. I think that this is a period also where you'll be wanting to break free from the ordinary routine of your life. And um, I think that uh, you should probably look upon your life as the fool does and be empty again, mm -hmm. as if a child, as if the the spirit, the absolute core consciousness as to who you are. This is the message which is coming through. There is another message which is coming through and it is this. There is nothing you cannot be, there is nothing you cannot do, there is nothing you cannot have. You are the most magnificent, the most remarkable, the most splendid being God has ever created. For who could reject such wondrous magnificence? 
But you do not know who you are, and you think you are a great deal less. You are your own rule maker, and you are the only one who can assess how you are doing. All you see in the world is your idea about it. Life will take off for you when you choose for it to. An idea becomes a thought, a thought becomes a word. Say it out loud, words have power and they echo throughout all of eternity. A word becomes an action. And if you are going to do it, start. Then go all the way, do it, do it. Seize the opportunity, rejoice in it, and let no power on earth take it from you. Well, we then seem to have a couple of people in your life. Let's look first of all at this one here, who is the mother of feathers. Yes, the queen of the thrones of air. I really see... I see Libra around here, Libra around you, Virgo around you. And the reason why I'm having this thought is that I really have the f feeling and association with, uh, with Libra, with her. And um, this is all about making clear decisions based on fact and fairness, which is quite similar to the mother of feathers herself. Now, is it someone that you might know? And as I say, Virgo and Libra is what's coming to me, somebody who is graceful and perceptive, a keen observer, an intense individualist, confident and gracious. I think that this is a time when you are being called upon to use your intellect to make an unbiased decision about a situation. Now, compassion and empathy may distract you, and you do have a lot of compassion and empathy, but you must go with your head and not with your heart in relation to the matter which comes up. It is not a time to beat around the bush about a situation, but rather it is a time to decide and to act. Cutting through old patterns and masks and you do have a few masks that you wear from time to time, don't you? Well, cut through those old patterns and masks, return to country, and have the courage of your convictions to move forward. Let's see what this card here has to say. The lovely card of, what is it? Strength. Now with this card, what I see here is, I see Leo ruled by the sun with Uranus exalted. This is the daughter of the flaming sword. Lot of Leo energy in here. It's something which is saying that you will have courage, strength and control of your life forces. Now, I have to say that for those of you for whom it may be of interest, this can sometimes mean the beginning of a great love affair. And for those of you who are partnered, I think that there is, well, there's going to be a lot of romantic activity, if I can put it that way, in relation to you and your partner. I think this is also challenging conventional views on what is a spiritual path and what it should look like and what qualities are needed to pursue a spiritual way. You are certainly not going to be punished by God who has no moral concerns about your love life whatsoever and so guilt and self-inflicted doubt are definitely to be done away with in respect of that. I think that this also means that you're going to have a real passion for something or a particular situation. This is telling you to engage with life to the fullest, to really engage with it, to take hold of it and move forward. And I think also to accept your carnal desires and your fantasies for what they are, rejoicing in them, but not letting them throw your life out of balance 
Yeah, there is here, I think, um, the real possibility of a of a relationship which has a great deal of physical and emotional intensity attached to it, is what I'm getting. Do something because you love to do it, rather than overanalyzing why you might do it. Do it because you love to do it, is the message that's coming through here. I'd say this also that I enjoy expressing my energy, vitality and enthusiasm in all that I experience. I am a person of character and strength. I have unlimited creative resources to tap and to express and I enjoy living life to the full. That's the message that's there for you, and doesn't it fit in with what we were just talking about? And this is something more that's coming here, by the looks of it, the energy that's coming to me. We have here is the Mother of Flames. Yes, this Mother of Flames, a particular favourite of mine. I think someone who's going to be important to you at this time could well be an Aries or a Pisces, you know. This is the Queen of the Thrones of Flame. And I'm getting the feelings of Pisces and Aries around it. Pisces is bringing sensitivity and inspiration and Aries is giving leadership and self-confidence. So when we have looked at these other cards that are here before, it's not surprising that this is the message that should come up here. And, and it's not surprising that this should be the astrological association for you. Yeah, look out for those people there, Aries and Pisces. They may well have a part to, to play in your life. This is talking about adaptability and persistent energy, and in particular, a calm authority. Now, you're going to be very attractive during this month, and you will have great powers of attraction, and you can be generous, but sometimes maybe intolerant. I think that um, what we can say here also is that with this um, Queen of Mother of Flames and the person, the other people that might be surrounding you, and as I say, it could well be a, a Pisces or an Aries, then there's someone who can, that has, has an immense capacity for friendship and love, but at her initiative, this mother, in some respects, is almost like a self-complacent vanity, even a snobbery associated with her. Now she can brood and come to a wrong decision as a result of that brooding and react with savagery. And she can take offense and harbor revenge without good cause. She's somebody who also, I think, is prone, I think, to Oh, sort of feeling down about themselves, almost depression in a way, and is capable of self-medicating that um, depressive feeling with alcohol, I've got to say. And um, so the message for you here, I think, is to say, look, you will be going through a process of self-discovery and remembering your power. You got to where you are by resolving difficulties in the past, and now you're a stronger character. It is a time to express your natural power and beauty and move on from the past. Now, she knows what she wants, and she has an active life, and so I think you might be quite busy and she creates a powerful first impression and as I say I think that you are going to create a powerful first impression and have great attraction to others during this period. Well let's have a look at these shall we and see what they have to say. You know a nice line of red. Let's have a look. Let's look first at the the king of diamonds that's here. Now, you know, I've got a feeling that there could well be a foreigner associated with you during this period, a foreign man or a man that lives abroad or a foreigner who, who, who now lives where you are and you're going to have an association with him. 
um, so there's a foreigner that you're associated with that, that's living here, probably a successful businessman or, or somebody who's in business, that's doing well in business. He's a person, I think, who is um, powerful, sharp, perceptive, and actually very shrewd. Now, maybe I think it's someone who's around your age, maybe a little bit older, mature and distinguished, but somebody who can be very vain. I'm also getting in here somebody who could also have a military association, is what I'm getting. A military association. Let's see this. Well, of course, for me, the heart's suit is really one to do with emotions, feelings, and about all matters. Now, there's a possible change of residence uh, around here. There may be a desire for affection or love. Sometimes this talks about a new relationship beginning because aces can relate to beginnings. It can be the end of a dispute. Good news coming to you from a family member or a friend. Uh, and it's got to be the establishment. I think it could also refer to the establishment of, of a home or work around the home or the establishment of a home with a partner or a friend and, um, and sprucing up a home uh, with someone with whom you are already partnered. Um, it can sometimes talk to, I think, that you might hear of somebody getting married, um, is what I have here. I think what we can also say is that this, look, the, the fact is, is that this is a very favorable card and it speaks to me of problems and troubles lifting from you. Now, I just mentioned that this ace is about troubles lifting, so this might be someone to, this might refer to somebody that you know, I think. And it's someone who is, I think, um, experiencing challenges in love and relationships that could be involved with a fickle person. I think for you though, it's saying to me that it is time for you to reflect upon how others see you and how you see them. Sometimes it can be a card of disappointment when other people break plans and let you down. It can also be an indicator that somebody is being unreliable or, or undependable, and that lets you down. Um, it can indicate lovesickness. It can indicate that um, somebody is in love with you or that you are in love with somebody and perhaps they don't even know that as yet. And it is something which, if that is the case, then this card here, which we spoke of, the message that came through from that, was it not, was there is nothing you cannot be, there is nothing you cannot do, there is nothing you cannot have. Then this is saying now is the time to get on with it. Have a great month. Well, there you go. It looks like it's going to be an absolutely fan fantastic month for you and that's great because you deserve it and I have to say you were fantastic during that reading. All that remains for me to say is this and remember it always that you are a legend and I look forward to seeing you again next month. Until then, bye for now.